Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to day 11. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite subjects is Active Directory pen testing and Active Directory hacking. So let's get into the desktop and have some fun. All right guys, so here we are on the desktop now. So today we're gonna to be talking about Active Directory hacking. Jingle bells, shadow smell, spells. All right, so this is awesome that they're doing Active Directory hacking. This has always been one of my favorites to do and learning about Active Directory pen testing because I did do, uh, you know, system administration with Active Directory for many years. So this is always fun for me. So the learning objectives in here, we're going to be understanding AD, inter uh, introduction of Windows Hello for business, any prerequisites for exploiting generic right privileges, and how the shadow uh, credentials attack works and then how to exploit that vulnerability all right so as we come back as we come down we can connect to the machine we need to answer these questions we're going to start the i started my remote box and the attack box just so we have some proactive stuff all right so in here we have in active directory 101 so this is super critical right what is ad it's mainly used for businesses in a windows environment Anytime you want to have your Windows computers authenticate to an Active Directory domain, you will join this to a domain. So the system administrator, network admin, whoever, manage everything in one pane of glass. So instead of like Joe, Sally, whatever, is on each individual computer and they're managing it themselves, we can centralize that. All right. So as we, you know, it's like it says here, it's a, it's a centralized authenticated system. All right. So... As we come down, you can think of AD as a digital database containing objects like users, groups, and computers, right? And each with a specific attribute and permissions, as it says right here, right? So ideally, it applies to the principle of least privilege. This is super critical, right? And uses a hierarchy approach to managing roles and giving authenticated users access to non-sensitive data throughout the system. So as you can see here, you know, you have, you know, Bob and Sally here with Sally and an OU, and you can get some of the hierarchy of Active Directory, right? So as we come down, we can think, uh, think passwords are hard to remember. Say hello to right here. Windows hello for business, right? Is a modern and secure way to replace conventional um, password-based authentication. Instead of relying on a traditional password, it ut utilizes cryptography or cryptographic keys, right? So we can come down here, we can see here the MS DS key uh, credential link is an attribute, and then we're going to see that right here shortly. Sorry, <laughs> again, I was doing everything just to FYI. I was doing everything in my Kali machine and nothing was working. It was super slow, so that's why I'm not using my Kali machine today. Uh, so that's why I was recording and of course it happened again. I had to start recording again. All right, so just a little side note. All right, so the key storage here is the user's account MS DS key credential link attribute will be set. So for this user, Tracy McGritty, right? You can see her attribute right here inside of her user in the attribute editor tab. As we come down, we can see the process, right? One, two, and three, we have the client, we authenticate, use the authorization, and then we generate the key, right? The certificate generation. As we come back down, we can now get to the enumeration stage, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do these three steps right here. We're going to go ahead and move to the directory desktop. We're going to do PowerShell EB bypass, and then we're going to load it. So if we're inside of here, we can just CD to desktop. Okay. And then we're going to do PowerShell. Look, not that. Let's see if we can just copy and paste. So let's just make sure we don't have any mistakes. So let's just PowerShell EB bypass and then hit enter here. And then let's go ahead and load up the PowerView script into memory. And here we go. 
Perfect. Let's continue. So now at this point, we can enumerate the privileges by running. So let's go ahead and use the find interesting domain ACL for access control list and then resolve grids. All right. So let's go ahead and hit enter here and see what we get. Anything? Maybe it's taken a moment. Oop. All right. So let's give that a moment. And then as we see, uh, we didn't see anything yet. It's probably taken a second, probably a lost connection. I don't know. I've been having bad luck for the last few days with trihackmes. I don't know if I'm just starting the rooms in just different parts of the day. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm getting lucky that everyone and their grandmother is logged in. All right, so you can see here, this is a lot of information, right? This is a boatload of information. You can read through this, but as you can see, this command will return all users' privileges, right? So now we just want a current user, which is HR, right? So we can filter that. Let's go ahead and use that command where object, and let's go ahead and hit enter here, right? And now what we can do is select object identity, and let's go ahead and pipe. So pretty much right here, we can just do pipe, so we can hit the up arrow space pipe and then paste that hit enter right and then let's go ahead see pretty much it's showing us here right and then let's go ahead uh do do do, do, do rights let me make sure i'm ran that correctly uh, let me bring this over uh do, do, do. okay yeah all right so now the command should look like this. Let me see, does my command look like that? No, my command doesn't look like that. Oh, because I think I know why. All right, let me make some changes. Let's copy this. All right, so let's pipe this and then paste, hit enter. All right, so now, Let's come back here and copy this, select object, right? Because we want to look just for that HR. So let's go ahead and, oh, come on. All right, come on. Let's, let's do control C maybe. All right, let's do clear, up arrow, up arrow, right? And now let's pipe the next command did I copy it? I thought I did. Let's copy this again. Paste. There we go. And then we hit enter here. And we'll give this a moment to give us the results. And what we should see is the result just for the HR, right? Let's give this a moment. Maybe it's uh, it's really slow. If it's slow for you guys too, let me know in the, in, in the comments because I don't know if I'm just logging in the wrong time of the day, but um, anyhow. So we have this identif identify reference name. So it's HR, and then the C name is Van Sprinkles, or Van Sprinkle, whatever, Van Sprinkles. And then it's in the users, AOC, local, etc. right? So as we can see, right, we have now some stuff to exploit. Right, so we have the username, just I want to take a snippet of that username just so I don't forget about it. Let me just take a snippet of that and just move that all to the side so I have that information handy. Note taken is critical when you're doing pen testing, right? All right, so let's go ahead and now into the exploitation phase. So one helpful tool would be abusing for abusing the vulnerable will be privilege is uh, whiskier. You know, this is a C plus utility created by, you know, Ed Schnarer, Sharon, Sharier. Sorry if I'm spare, whatever, however you say your name. All right, so as we can come down here, we can load this in. So let's just copy this. Actually, let's just copy this. No, we're not gonna use administrator, right? Because it's gonna be the user is going to be this. So let's go ahead and copy this. 
and then paste that, okay? And hit enter here. So now what this is gonna do is generate the information that we need, right? So it's enumerating everything. So now we're gonna use this, this tool to ask the ticket granted ticketing for, the, for Van Sprinkles, right? And this is a certificate. So technically we're gonna, it, it's pretty much walking us through, but this is what I love about Try Hack Me. So now this is pretty much what we just did, right? Now you can run this uh, Rubis, however you say that, with the uh, following syntax, as TTT, this will request a ticket granting ticketing, the user's certificate, password, domain, get credentials, DC. As you can see here, this is the way you can run that command. But instead, we're gonna go ahead and copy this, right? But we're gonna have to make some modifications, right? So let's go ahead and copy this. Come back up here and let's paste that. Whoops. So let's, we're gonna go ahead and paste this here. But obviously, this is not the information that we need. So the password, wait, wait a minute. What am I doing? Um, let's go back for a sec. Sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, local certificate. So we're going to have to look at the certificate up here. Let me. All right. I, I see. So technically, let me just, let me delete this all. And then what I'm going to do is utilize this command right i'm just going to use this let's copy all of this copy and then i want to paste it here and before i run it i want to just going to go ahead and go all the way up let's go ahead and go all the way up all right and dot backslash because we have to run this okay so now we can hit enter here and now we should get the information that we need and let's come back up here. And once we run this, we'll get the service name, we'll get some information. And then the most critical thing we should get is the LTL, L, NTLM hash, right? And with that, then we can utilize some tools with pass the hash and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll give this a moment to do its thing. And then here we're gonna be using the uh, evil WinRM technique. So we're going to use this tool with our IP address. And then this is not going to be the user because we're going to be using what was the name of the uh, person Mick, Mick fit, whatever the name is, <laughs> I forgot already. And then we're going to utilize the hash. So it's going to look like this once we have the information that we need. Perfect. Here we go. So mix, mix, sprink, whatever, van, van sprinkles. All right, so now we have the LTLM hash here, right? So now what we can do is run WinRM on the attack box. So now we have the attack box here. Let's open up a terminal. And let's go ahead and bring this over here. Let's go ahead and zoom this in a little bit more. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do, 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 do. Whoops, let me see if this works. Oh, it works, okay, whoa. Oh, I didn't mean to do it that big. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and use WinRM. Let me see what win. Evil WinRM, so I wanna copy this. Let me just go ahead and copy this, just so I have paste. And obviously this is not gonna be my hash. Right, my hash is going to be this. Let's go ahead and copy this. Paste. All right, so now the this is not gonna be the user, right? Because we, we need the Van Sprinkles user. So let's come back here in Van Sprinkles. Whoops. Let's copy that. Let's come here, paste. All right, so the IP address of the machine. All right, so my IP address for my domain controller, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see 
what is my IP address? So it's going to be 10.10.213. .10 Did I copy it? All right, let's see if that worked. Paste. All right, and let's see if we can get a shell. Boom, we are in. EIR, LS, nothing. All right, so let's CD to, let's do CD dot dot one more. All right, so let's do DIR. We can see administrator and all everyone here. Now pretty much we got control over this machine, conclusion. All right, so we stumbled upon a misconfiguration after all. An attacker has gained full access to our Active Directory. All right, so what was the vulnerable hash, uh, vulnerable hash for the user? Uh, let's go ahead and come back here. This was mine. Let's go ahead and paste that in here. Hit submit, boom, perfect. Now we need to get the flag from the administrator desktop. So let's come back to our attacker. Let's CD to administrator. and then CD to desktop, and then do DIR. And then we have a flag, so TYPE for Windows and flag.txt. And bada bing, THM, Christmas is safe. All right. Let's copy this, make it easier, and let's paste and enter. And boom, we completed day 11. Compromise an Active Directory. So if you want to learn more, you can go ahead and do that. And no need to answer anything there. And we are good. That's day 11. So I really appreciate you guys checking it out. And thank you so much. And I'll see you in 1212 tomorrow.